different. I know we talked about it earlier. I'm going to go yeah. with Snoop, man, how he bought back Death Row. Like, we thought we'll never see the day with Snoop buy back Death Row, man. That's you know hard. what I'm saying? For mm-hmm. all the stuff he went through, you know, being off the label, going down to No yeah. Limit, making all them classic, you know, all that classic music with, you know, Death Row, with Park and all them boys, man, Outlaw, sure. just making all that music and then for it to go left and go, you know what I'm saying? He, he leave the label, Park die, mm-hmm. he go to No Limit, he get with P. You know what I'm saying? Try to revive his life, revive his career and all that good stuff. And then, you know, years later, you know what I'm saying, to go back and buy the label back, you know, that was like one of the man, that was the one of the at one point that was the hottest label in the country. You know what I'm saying? It was most the one of the most yeah, feared golden, labels in the country. Like, area you weren't messing that, with right? Death Row, yeah. man. You weren't going out on the West Coast and you weren't yeah, messing Death with Death Row. Bad boy. Yeah. Well, no man, that was that golden era, man. You know what I'm saying? You, know what I mean? you yeah. got you got Dr. Dre, you got Dr. Dre, Bad Boy, No Limit, Cash Money, yeah. And so, man, like for him to be able to, you know, after um, uh, after Sugar get locked up and go through all the issues and stuff like that, for him to be able to go and just like take ownership of that label back, you know what I'm saying? Because he talked about how he took all the the uh, his streaming all his music off the streaming services. And he's going to upload it like to, like, uh, what did he say he wanted to do? He's going to re-upload it, but it was going to be a way that he could make money from it. Because right now, they make basically yeah. nothing from streaming. You know what I mean? You got to stream a thousand times for a, a penny or a half a cent or something like that. But he said he was going to find a different strategy to yeah. kind of re-upload that music, mm-hmm. you know, so they can, like, in the, maybe, like, the metaverse or something like that or whatever he decided he's going to do to try to make some money off his music and stuff for it. But if he got all that pop, if he got all the pop masters and all that type of stuff, bro, like imagine if he's just like, like get stingy with him, like, hey, look, I'm pulling all pop music off all platform, all all Death Row music yeah. off all platform. Yeah. What they would pay and what we would pay subscription for to go listen to that music. And that came out of so nowhere too. I think too. that like, was pretty. I think that was pretty. A lot of times you hear you get take, rumors and stuff like, that, oh, um, Snoop doing label. this. Man, just all of a sudden like, yeah. oh, Snoop bought Death like, Row. Like, damn, okay. Yeah. You like, like, yeah, for real, because you, I thought Sugar never let that go, you know like what I'm saying? As much as you know, much as you much as blue shit <laughs> doing that label time, that era, for him to, you know what I'm saying, to go get it, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right, like, that that, that, that that was the most feared label in the country at one point in time. And so, that was, that's my top, that's my top, uh, that's my hustler award for the year, you know, that's a big one for me.